Hi, I'm Neil Venkatraman and my mission to find out what the best companies do and share those specific marketing strategies with you. In today's video, I want to share with you one powerful technique if you have not yet reached 20 clients. But before I do that, do you know what the number one cause of business failure is? If you think about a fitness industry, most personal trainers and fitness trainers earn less than $35,000 a year. That's right, it's borderline poverty levels as to how much they actually earn and how much of income they bring in. I had a client recently and he's got about 15 personal training clients in his studio that he, that he works with every single day. And the problem with, that he's facing right now is that he's running around busy doing a lot of busy work. And what he's really focusing on is his personal training program. But yet, there's one big problem. He doesn't make enough money to hire another personal trainer, to hire an admin assistant, or to even grow his business. So now he's really worried about focusing on developing better programs for his clients so he can give his clients a better experience. But at the same time, the money's dwindling, he's having a lot of fears and financial pressure, and he can't really grow this into a business that he's looking for. And we looked at it and I told him, stop. Immediately stop everything you're doing right now. What he's trying to do is not work on the real problem. And the real problem is, and why businesses fail, or 95% fail, or why most fitness professionals earn money that's literally borderline poverty, is that they don't generate enough leads in your business. You see, if you don't have more customers and leads, it doesn't matter how good or bad your programming is, you're gonna go out of business. Now, I'm making the assumption here that his programs and the quality of the service he, he delivers is good enough. At this point in time, when you're really breaking even, your focus shouldn't be on creating the best service. Obvious, obviously, over time, you should focus on doing that, but good enough is good enough because the thing you should be doing is actually paying attention and focusing all your energy and effort in growing your business. You will fail if you don't have the right amount of leads and customers coming in. Now, this may sound controversial to you, or you may be looking to hiring more staff, doing more admin work or more procedures. But let's face it, all that busy work makes you feel busy and makes you feel like you're trying. When you step up and you really understand that leads are the engine that drives your business. New customers coming in are the engine that drives your business. Once you can fix that part and you really understand and grasp that, you win every single time. Stop the busy work. If you've got less than 15 to 20 clients in your business, the only thing you should be working on right now is generating more leads and customers for your business. Everything else is just busy work and causing distraction from the real problem you're facing. I know this may sound controversial and you may not like this, but I'd love to hear your comments below. I'll talk to you soon.